Hi everyone, I'm Nick Shepard. Welcome to my channel. This is episode 3 in Erica's life at university. Today she is moving into her room in college. Where will she put everything? In? On? Under? Behind? Next to? By? On top of? Above? Hope you enjoy it! Here's the floor plan. She'll be sharing the kitchen and the bathroom with one other person. I'll write in a few names of the things we can see. There's the kitchen up on the left, and in the kitchen we have the sink and the cooker. Then over here we have the shower and the wash basin. And here's Erica's room, which has a cupboard for her clothes and a desk. And then on the other side we have Antonia's room. Now let's have a look at Erica's room in more detail. Here it is. And now we have to put everything away. OK. We can put her shoes under the bed. And she has a pair of shoes and some trainers. OK, we'll put the trainers under the bed too. Now for her clothes. She doesn't have many, but then most students don't. We can hang her coat on the hook behind the door. And she has two dresses. We can hang these those in the cupboard. And she has several pairs of jeans. We can hang those in the cupboard too. She has a little pile of t-shirts that we can put on the top shelf in the cupboard. We can put her socks on the middle shelf. The waste paper basket needs to go under the desk and her laptop on the desk. And the suitcase can go on top of the cupboard. There we go. Oh, and the clock. There's a shelf above the bed. We can put the clock there on the shelf. And finally, there's Polly. Her stand is by the window, and that's a good place for Polly by the window, so that she can see out. OK, you can pause the video if you want to. And now I'm going to move on and look at the prepositions again. Here are four of them. In, on, under and above. And here's a desk with an open drawer and a light hanging from the ceiling. OK, first on. We'll put the word on the desk. And I'll write on the desk down here. Also we can say on the table or on the floor. And we can say on the wall or on the ceiling. Anything with two dimensions. And now for in. I'll put the word in the drawer and I'll shut the drawer. There we are. It's in the drawer. We can also say in the house or in the car. Anything with three dimensions. And just to remind you about dimensions, here's a graphic. One dimension is like a point on a map. Two dimensions is for a surface, like a table or a wall or a floor. And three dimensions is for a container, a box, a drawer, a pocket, or a room, or a house. In the story, we saw the phrase, in the cupboard. And now we'll put under, under the table just like under the bed in our story. And the last one, above. The lamp is above the desk, just like the shelf in our story, which was above the bed. OK, let's move on to the next four words. Here they are, by, next to, on top of, and behind. Here we have a house, a tree, and a bird. The tree is by the house or next to the house. By and next to are similar in meaning, but not exactly the same. The tree is by the house, Polly the parrot is by the window, and you could say next to for both of those. But in the movies, you sit next to your friend. The bird is on top of the house. You could say he was standing on top of the mountain, or he put his briefcase on top of the car. In all these sentences, we're emphasising the top. Not just on, but on top. And now for behind. The boy is behind the tree. Look, there he is. And we had behind the door in the story. OK, that's all for today. I'm done. Bye for now.